Today is uh, Monday, January 16th, 2023. Camping up at uh, Moscow Hill camping area, the horse camp out in Brookfield. Uh, yesterday I went to hiking up Charles Baker State Forest. Finally got some sun. It's a little warmer. It's still cold. It's January. It's mostly the coldest time of the year. It got down to, I think, single digits, probably eight or nine. It's not super cold, but the truck started up fine this morning when I warmed it up to just make sure I had, you know, plenty of battery power. And, um, yeah, it's uh, winter, definitely. Not a lot of snow this year. That's why I'm actually up here camping, because this road is not plowed in the winter, although the county highway is not far from here. But I wouldn't want to have to drive back here in deep snow and get stuck. Everything is kind of frost-covered. It's, uh, as I said, it is J Martin Luther King Day. State holiday, so I have it off. But I'm packing up because I gotta head home and obviously got work tomorrow. I'm thinking about hiking Castle Hill or um, Glimmerglass State Park. I kind of wanted to Castle Hill because I've never been there before. Park at the uh, whatever that pond is along US 20 and then hike back from there as long as there's a place to park. It's not too much snow, which I don't think there will be. And uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely cold in winter. Um, but it's, it's been a nice trip. I wish we had sun like this yesterday. It would have been great for hiking, especially with all the snow still on the trees. But, uh, can't, can't always control the weather. And I wish it were a little warmer. Although the cold means that everything's frozen. So I don't have issues with, um, uh, you know, everything being really, uh, muddy and stuff. But, I mean, this is first trip of 2023. Last one in my 30s, because my birthday is coming up on, um... 29th. I mean, I guess I could technically go out to Rensselaer Real Estate Forest between now and my birthday. Although I'm thinking that more for President's Week. Leaving whoever camps here next a nice big pile of wood because I chopped up too much wood and then my chair broke last night so I ended up sitting on the stump. And I also went to bed fairly early because I wanted to dim the lights because I noticed that there seemed like there was some power slipping between the uh, accessory and starting battery in my truck and I didn't want to accidentally run my starting battery down. I don't know what it was. I just know that when I was riding the truck last night, it looked like, just to, you know, to, to charge up the starting battery, it looked like on the voltage meter that there was some battery or electricity coming back to the accessory system, even though it was supposed to be disconnected. So I just wanted to be careful because I didn't want to get stuck. I mean, I started the truck up this morning. A little after I got up, at, uh, I, got, I stayed in until bed until about 7 because it was so cold. But I started the truck up just because I wanted to be sure that it would be good. And it was fine. It started right up. This truck always starts up good. I mean, ever since I got the accessory battery and the disconnect set up, wired up properly, I've had no problems. I don't use the radio or anything, accessories anymore. I mean, that used to be a problem. I used to use the radio a lot when I was camping. It was in the truck. And the issue was that, well, it's supposed to have a low voltage cutoff, and it does. You know, and it, when it finally cuts off, that battery is pretty low. So, uh, to be safe and so there and sour, you only... only uh, the power I use when I'm camping is off the accessory batteries now. And um, normally in normal weather, I, I can park for like three days and not even start the, start the truck up at all. And just, you know, use the solar for the accessory battery. And then if there's enough light or enough sunshine on the solar, I can it will actually start charging the starting battery. Although I've been playing with that because for some reason it doesn't seem like it's charging well this winter. I think. The reason why it's not putting money, power into the starting battery is because uh, it's just it's, the battery was low because I haven't been driving much. And all the batteries are low and there just is not a lot of sun this time of year because of, you know, A, being cloudy and the sun angle is just so low. But it is what it is. Well, I'm at four minutes here. I've been talking a lot. So, yeah, this has been camp. This has been Martin Luther King Day weekend camping out at Brookfield at the Moscow Hill Horse Camp. And... Uh, no horses this time of year. Very quiet. But uh, it's been fun. I'm going to cut you off here. Thank you for watching.